Hello, this is the infamous Iffy, and continuing on with SpongeBob SquarePants, the cosmic shape. I'm guessing this is going to be the final episode because they, I'm, I'm, well, I'm guessing that because there can't be that much left. After after beating the Glove World level, there doesn't seem to be any more levels, so I'm guessing it's just going to be the final boss for this video, or unless Cassandra has a level of her own. But anyway, in the last part, I. I collected all the uh, items to fix Gary, change him back to normal size, and then went on to the Glove World level, which was again very good. That that boss fight was v very very uh, at the best so far, I would say, for the for platforming and that. The, the platforming was fun in the Glove level. Really enjoyed that as well. Uh, what I'd, one problem is though, I'll say this now is during the last the last part uh, at the very end I finished I finished the level but the the game sort of glitched and didn't give me the costume uh, for the reef blowout sort of like I don't know it, it, it like glitched during the loading screen Spongebob like froze in place and then it didn't give me the reef blower costume for the next part yeah uh, I had to exit out of that because I couldn't save the game. I, I exited out of that, but then the autosave for that part took me back to before, just be thankfully the autosave saved just before the Glove World boss fight, which was, which was helpful. The only drawback is I had to go through the Glove World boss fight again, which, what, which wasn't too bad, but it was just a bit annoying. That, thankful, thankful for I'm thankful for auto save. That would have been a big problem. Probably would have had to replay the entire level. But due to the due to having the auto save, it fixed everything up. As I said, it wasn't too bad though. I did get the trophy for have Glovey Glove defeat 20 enemies. I went back and got that from the auto save, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, what's that one? Don't know what that is just yet. As I said, not, uh, not too bad, but just a bit annoying that the game glitched out a bit there. I've replayed... Anyway, moving forward now. I've replayed the boss fight and I've got to the part just before what, whatever happens now. Apparently Spongebob and Patrick were supposed to like clean up all this garbage around the Krusty Krab. So continuing directly on from that point. We've gotten reports from multiple sources with the same megalomaniacal voice that you are responsible for all you either pick whoa i don't know where all this trash came from but i do love okay got the award yeah got that one this time and pale rider already got that in the last video Okay, so where's the costume? Freeze! With you what? Freeze! With you what? Freeze! With you what? Uh. Oh, am I just supposed to collect the trash in front of the compactor? Maybe. Okay, I'll take back what I said. To clean up the ocean. Who would leave all this trash around here? Is there anything that shouldn't be recycled? Old jokes. Probably gonna fail this. Free with you. What? Yeah, just retry that because I ran out of time there.
Got to say, I didn't think I'd ever. I didn't think I'd see recycling in a in the in a SpongeBob game. SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants rehydrated. SpongeBob SquarePants recycle or recycle. to take this trash where it belongs. Well, that's the end of that crisis. We sure did a lot today. Oh, it's been fun. See you later. Wait, Patrick. Shouldn't we bring the rest of the jelly to Cassandra so she can fix all this chaos? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I can squeeze that in. Yeah, this is going to be the part where Cassandra betrays SpongeBob. You got lucky then. Who am I kidding? We're called here almost every... You got luck? Who am I kidding? Please, SpongeBob. Yeah, as I was saying in the last video, it kind of feels like we're at the end of the game now. We've fit, we've brought everyone back to Bikini Bottom, fixed all the locations. It's just really now closing all the portals that were opened up. Oh, and getting rid of all the jelly monsters. Come What's on, on Where did you hide Okay, so I want to make sure what trophies I'm missing. Okay, this is good. Ooh, more jelly. I'm ready to hang ten. Okay, there has to be something there. That was that just for nothing or? Yeah, I'm guessing there was supposed to be a coin here, but I must have already done that challenge. Anyway, so talk to Cassandra. What's Come going on? on? Where are you? What's the deal? Order up! Yeah, it's a bit weird that the music stops all of a sudden. Okay, what is it, Cassandra? What, what would happen if you just went home? Oh. Uh -oh. SpongeBob SquarePants, this time you took things too far. Well, well, well. His Royal Heine finally decided to show up. This snail oil saleswoman broke into my Royal Bat Time Chamber and stole my bubble soap. She never posed any real danger until your can-do attitude enabled her! Do you have any idea how much power she'll wield once she has enough jelly? And SpongeBob just gave it to her. Silence! I am now the queen of the ocean and with the power of the cosmic jelly, I will reshape the seas according to my wishes! 
SpongeBob. I have tolerated your annoying little slip up for years now, but I have had it. Because of you, I have been kidnapped, I had to relearn to speak, and my toilet is clogged with jelly. Enough is enough. Yeah, probably not the best time, Squidward. You know what? It's not that bad. I'll just get the plunger. You're going nowhere, my delicious little rage muffin. You have the perfect attitude to be my new pet. <laughs> Okay, didn't expect that. <laughs> Giant. This is it, Patrick. My wishes may have shaken up the world, but the fun is the one who's gone out of control. It's time to stop it for good and save our friends once and for all. really cool. What are we doing? Okay, first off, I, I just want to say I wasn't, I was expecting to fight Cassandra, but I wasn't expecting uh, Giant Squidward to be the final boss. I did find it a bit funny though, up until this point, that we fought, we essentially fought Mr. Krabs, fought Gary, fought Sandy, and yet Squidward was the only one we didn't fight in the, in the prehistoric uh, Calc Forest world. But I was just thinking maybe that was because we 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 fought Pearl instead. But nope, looks like we're fight we fight fighting everyone in this game. I think he lost his pants. I'll get you. Okay, this is where I'm gonna get the reef blower trophy for from. Spring cleaning. Okay, get in there. Take this! 
Checking, see if the bar's going off. I'll get you. <laughs> Not really, Cassandra, I'm just trying to get an achievement. Literally one more. Don't get hit by anything. Okay, that was easy. Patrick again, you, like, what the hell? He keeps like dropping the, like, if I need the health, he'll drop it like off, 
off the platform. What am I supposed to do? Jump for that. Okay. Never mind. Bye, Cassandra. Oh, got local hero. What's that? Clear every level and beat the final. Oh, I don't think it's that. Local hero. Where's that one? Here we are. Save Bikini Bottom from being destroyed. Oh, that was just that simple. Okay. Yeah, Cassandra wasn't that difficult. Bit of a disappointing final boss there, I'll, I'll be honest. Cause the Glove World one. Oh, oh bye. <laughs> Squidward, I'm so glad you're back to normal. Yeah, what the pattern? Did he happened? change back? And why does my mouth taste like jelly? I have to hand it to you, SpongeBob. Your quirky approach did what the Royal Guard failed to do. You apprehended Madame Cassandra. Of course, you also empowered her to nearly destroy us all. But that's jelly under the bridge now. <laughs> As a reward for your outstanding bravery, I shall grant you one final wish, so make it count. After today, there's only one thing I can wish for, and that is... That was fun! I wish we could do it all over again! Oh no. Patrick, no! Shut up, Patrick! Damn it, Patrick! <laughs> you had we had one wish. Okay, that's it. And this is the perfect song to end it off on, actually. Well, that was SpongeBob the Cosmic Shake. I've gotta say. The boss fight, the, the final boss fight, I was hoping for something... Oh, I'll, talk, I'll talk about it after the song again. Yeah, this is really the perfect credit song right here.
Okay, I'm gonna skip the credits now because I don't know how long it's gonna go on for. I'm guessing there's not gonna be a post credit scene. Hopefully not 47 seconds, seconds later. later. Does that tell you how long the credits would have lasted? Because if, if so, that's, a, that's amazing. Okay, ward unlocked. Tentacle Dodger. Trying to see where that achievement is there. Don't get hit by Jelly Squidward's tentacles during the boss fight. I know the thing's no getting back to I wasn't saying much for this town. Okay, do you say anything? Don't forget to bring me. Don't you have to be in. So, I'm not sure if there's a 100% ending for if you do everything. Uh, don't know how much more there is to the game. If there is, I'll probably have to collect. Still got some achievements left. Okay, I'm just gonna see if there's a way. Does it re retry refight the boss now, or I still can't believe there's no way to refight. Movie sets have lots of craft services. Refight the bosses if you want to. Oh, you can. Oh look, it's Sandy. I mean, oh look! So here they do give you a chance to. Okay, I'll start with Mr. Krabs then. For the uh... Okay, I might just refight the bosses just to get the achievements for those, but I don't I don't think I'm gonna collect everything because that's probably gonna take a longer time. So yeah, I'm just gonna refight the bosses to get those achievements. Make way for that jelly! <laughs> Dodge that. Okay, auto save. Hopefully, that doesn't save before Cassandra. No, it doesn't seem to be. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a proper save here now. Okay, so 
What are the achievements? Catch Mr. Krabs in under three minutes. Easy, don't take damage. Okay, so I'm glad there is a way to at least do five spots. Uh, okay. You really are my best friend. An eternity later. Our horseback heroes once again find themselves pursuing a penny pinching bandit. Okay, skip all the cutscenes. Get the achievements, or do you have to be even quicker than that? Felt like that was pretty fast. Okay, still didn't get the achievement. Okay, so just. Okay, so I've got to ignore all the enemies completely, just run past them. Try that one more time. Yeah, what I wanted to say during the credits as well about the boss fight was just like, I kind of wish it was a 
wish it had been the, a bit more of the boss fights. It was a bit disappointing because it, it just felt a bit. It felt a bit too much the same like the Glove World one. Except the Glove World one was a bit better, and it, the but the final boss just didn't. It was surprising fighting giant Squidward, no doubt, but it just felt like they could have done more with the boss fight. It just felt a bit too easy. Three hours later. Get it that time. That felt like three minutes. How much faster could you do that? <laughs> Got it. Ooh, more jelly. The good, the bad, and the crabby. On to Sandy. Movie sets have lots of crap services, so we might. No more chafing. Don't get hit. 
dodge that move because I'm jumping in the air and that's not stopping me from taking damage. I didn't get it that time, but I will get it next time. Movie sets have lots of crap surfaces, so we must... No more chafing. supposed to get away from that even dodging there I still got hit you can't even glide over it part on the ground I can't seem to dodge because it just I'm using the dodge to get away but it just still hits you
Okay, try this again. This time I'm gonna save so at least I can exit out of the game. If Have lots of craft surfaces. <laughs> no more chafing. Coming through. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Try to find mischief. <laughs> Okay, and the kick's a bit useless as well. Like, I locked onto that enemy then, kicked him, but it just put SpongeBob next to him so I, I could take a hit. I was about to say, though, if it tells me I can't go back to the main menu, this is a bit stupid. Again. Quick load. Or not. Movie sets have lots of craft services, so let me. Crap, I'm sorry. Even if it you can't even jump because you should be able to jump to avoid it. <sighs> Nearly had it there for just one more hit. Yeah, the hardest part is the part on the ground. Because you've got to avoid it completely. Movie sets have lots of craft services, so let Come on. One 
Oh! Damn it. Seriously, this is ridiculous. <laughs> the boss fight is fun, it just feels like some of the parts of it. Oh, don't get hit at all. Said like don't get hit by Sandy or something during this boss fight. Movie sets have lots of okay. crap surfaces. I feel like I get through this, just gonna take a bit of time. What? Even that can hurt you. Even the even the wood. Okay, so apparently even wood can hurt you. Who knew? Movie sets have lots of craft surfaces, so you might be have lots of craft surfaces so you might be Okay, I didn't even see that enemy there. Yeah, this one is a bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Just based on the randomness of everything. Movie sets have lots of craft surfaces, so you might be
Oh, come on, game. This is so stupid, I'm sorry. Yeah, this achievement is terrible, I'm sorry. Sets have lots of crap services, so we might. in the dead center now. Seriously, the final part. Damn it! Honestly, why couldn't it have just been Don't Get Hit by Sandy? This achievement's garbage, I'm sorry. It's a fun boss, but just the achievement for it is. Uh, Movie sets terrible. have lots of crap surfaces, so we might- Okay. I'm gonna rock your bubble!
the angle they come at, where you can't really see where, how far away am I in the right lane or not. Sets have lots of crap services, so we might. edge I dodged there and even just the edge of it caught me movie sets have lots of crap surfaces so we might In the, I was in the other lane. Why the hell did the attack still hit me? So even the shockwave can still hit you. How are you supposed to avoid that? Yeah, this. Movie sets have lots of crap surfaces. Shut so up, SpongeBob. No one cares.
Got it. That took longer than it should have. Yeah, that achievement was still terrible though. Not so much the grand thing, the grand spinning thing. That was the problem. It was the it was basically the green the green fish at the end. Because I couldn't really see with the camera where they were coming from, like how, which lane should I be in to avoid their attack. That just felt like luck on that last part. Okay, next one. Jack Scrubber reclaim the judgment ship within five minutes. I bet we can find Mr. Krabs' lucky pennies here. Incoming pie! Let me show you how a real pirate uses these cannons. And so, our swashbuckling mates take to the high seas one more time, where they must dodge the detonating deserts. You cannot run forever, but I will certainly make you try! Okay, five minutes. A little bad will do. You really are my best friend. Okay, I might just retry this one. I feel like I've wasted too much time. Sticky sweet. 
Incoming pie! Okay, so the first one is already there. Incoming pie! I don't know why they give you the button for that. Get that achievement in five minutes. No. Okay, I'm guessing that last part you could have skipped with the enemy. I thought we could find Mr. Krabs' lucky pennies here! Oh, he's good. Pie in the sky! Say 
good pie. Incoming pie. got that. Okay, I think there's just one more now. Gary's one. Got that one, that one, that one. Yeah, just one more. one was just don't get detected. My good noodle senses are tingling. Told you. What is Halloween without what? Oh, good scare, huh? Well, spoil that one. Boss returns to his wondrous mother for another thrilling battle.
here's the problem. They should let you retry the boss fights. Or at least let you be able to leave. Because not, by not being able to leave, I'm stuck now until I complete this. <laughs> Which I've already failed. Because I haven't got, uh, I've already been spotted. I don't know what to do now. Just don't get spotted. Okay. This time for real. My good noodle senses are tingling. So Told you. Look what is Halloween without one arm's good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. This music is definitely like the Tales from the Crypt theme, at least a little bit. That's what I like about it. Okay, I haven't been spotted yet. Behind the snail there.
Okay, retry that again. When I get back. My good noodle senses are tingling. To what is Halloween without one more good scare? To his monstrous models for another really battle. I actually You're not going to give a restart button, letting you be able to go back to Bikini Bottom whenever you want. That's just kind of stupid for these achievements, anyway. That being said, you have to finish this, even though this is, this, uh, this, this run basically. Oh, there's the worst, with the snails. If you die, does it reset the challenge? No, it still puts you here. I think you do care.
Okay, my pl I do have a new plan though. I'm just gonna save the game so it'll at least I can at least exit the game when if I, if I, if I mess up. Okay. That makes things a little better. Still though, it's, it's stupid that My they don't. Good noodles, it's are... stupid that there's no restart button. Oh, what is Halloween without what oh, good scare, huh? SpongeBob. Or at least let you go back to Bikini Bottom, so I don't have to keep quitting the game. He literally looks straight back there. I thought I'd made it there for a second, but... He had his head turned the other way. How could he have looked back that fast? So if I can't jump across the platform, how do I to make it across the platform then? That platform there was literally you have to jump onto the other one, My other good side. Noodle to her to what is Halloween without what oh, good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle.
Really, Gary? Really? I was literally across the platform ready to hit the thing. How much more could I have timed that? I jumped across the platform, he was he had his head turned the other side, and then he instantly looked back. Maybe you've gotta be super quick. That last one or My good noodle senses are tingling. To what is Halloween without work on a good scale, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. That one there, they give you plenty of time, but for the next one, it's like you literally have two seconds. Damn it, Gary. Seriously, I was so close there. The final hit. Like, that has to be a joke. My good noodle senses are tingling. The to what is Halloween?
given up what more good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. Seriously, SpongeBob, what the hell? I landed on a platform, he pulled himself up and got hit and got hit by Gary. That was the worst time SpongeBob could have pulled himself up from a platform. I will say that. Like, not right when Gary's stupidly there. With laser vision. Right. Uh, oh no, maybe it's a lot for that. My good noodle dishes are taken. Shut up, SpongeBob. What is the whole reason I have to restart this entire thing again? Fuck off, good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle.
Yeah, that part probably needs to be toned down a bit better. I'm sorry. That is way too on the alert. Like, I took My it. good noodle senses are tingling. Told you, what is Halloween without a oh, good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. My good noodle senses are tingling. To what is Halloween without one of our good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. <laughs> Okay, so you only have to make it to that good platform for him not to see you. I thought you'd have to jump across and make it straight to the candy machine. I bet we can find Mr. Krabs' lucky pennies here! Incoming pop! 
Fuck, uh, accidentally loaded the uh, auto save there. No, that's not what I want. I want my proper save. Okay, at least I know what to do now. This should make it a lot easier. My good noodle sensors are taking. To what is Halloween without a one oh, good scale, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. Sorry, this is ridiculous. Even that. Even jumping to the other platform is ridiculous because he can still eat the the speed is too fast, so he's gonna spot you. My good noodle senses are taking. To what is Halloween without one half good scale, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. <laughs>
that part's too fast. It needs to be slow. It needs to be slowed down. There is no reaction time to that. My good noodle senses are tingling. To what is Halloween without one more good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. had to turn, didn't it? When that snail turned, that's when he spotted him instantly. If it had just kept going straight on, it would have been fine. What is Halloween without one half good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mothers for another thrilling battle.
Why the hell, SpongeBob? Do you have to land on the stupid platforms? I wasn't even aiming for that platform. I was aiming for the one below it. <laughs> Yeah, this part definitely needs to be turned down a little bit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Patch this part. Because this is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, he can spot you, but mm, shouldn't be like mm, this difficult. My good noodle centers are tingling. To what is Halloween with a one more good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous monast for another thrilling battle. This part is this part is too I don't know. He can spot you even if you're an inch away from the thing, it's not I mean there's difficulty, but this is just ridiculous. He spot he's My good noodles Gary is spotting you even if you're an inch away from the snail. Oh, those snails! The what is Halloween without one more good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another thrilling battle. <laughs>
he looked back there. I was behind the snail and he literally went back the reverse way just to hit me. What are you supposed to do about that? I was behind the, the third, I was behind the last snail there, but he literally went in reverse just to hit me. I don't understand what you're supposed to do about that last part. You're supposed to go the opposite way and... My good noodle sensors are taking... Told you. What is Halloween without one oh, good scare, huh? SpongeBob returns to his monstrous mothers for another thrilling battle.
fact that they expect you to do that in one go is ridiculous. It's the final part that's really the problem. The second part I figured it out because he's supposed to like hide behind the snail and jump over when he has when he has his head turned to the left the other way, but the last part, I just don't see how you could get there fast enough. Especially when he goes back. He looks back like the second you, you take the snail there. So what am I supposed to do about that? Am I supposed to just hide? My good noodle are taking and I wouldn't mind, but the Don't snail would uh, uh, so what are you supposed to Sponge do? Spongebob returns to his monstrous mollusk for another Am I supposed to back to the other snail when he has his head turned to keep it going? Look at how lenient that was there. I didn't even get I didn't even get spotted at all. Does that count? I fell off the platform. Maybe not. <laughs> nope, it counted. Don't know how I did that. It seems, it seems when he bobs his head with the crown, that gives you like 10 seconds. I just counted on those 10 seconds being enough time for me to get to the vending machine. It worked out. Anyway. Yeah, I think I'm the... Uh, I think for the rest of the stuff I'll get platinum off screen. Because uh, these just seem like fetch quests to get uh, the platinum, which shouldn't be too bad. I don't think there's a hundred percent ending. I think that was the hundred... I think that's it. I think it was just one ending. Uh, but anyway. Uh, did I enjoy this game? Yes, I did. I've had a lot. I had a lot of fun with it. I enjoyed it. It does have a few problems, though. Like I will say, uh, some of the out of all the levels, most of the levels were fun. Like just trying to go through. I'll go through them now one by one. Uh, Bikini Bottom. Yeah, that was the tutorial world. No, it's quite good. Uh, karate. Oh, sorry. After I which ones? Uh, Wild West. I'd say 9 out of 10. Very, very fun first level to start off on. Karate Downtown, 10 out of 10. That was that was a really really fun level. Learning the karate kicking, that was quite quite amazing. Pirate Goon Lagoon. I felt that went on a bit too long, that level. It was good. 
But it did go on a little bit too long. But I'd say 8 out of 10 for that one. Uh, I'm trying to remember what came next now. Halloween level after that. Uh, 10 out of 10. It, despite my despite my anger towards the Gary part there, trying to replay that to get the achievements. It was it was different and still a lot of fun. It, it, it turning it into a stealth section and just the whole the music was very good as well in that uh, in that level. Uh, prehistoric cow price again amazing. I love the slides in that in that level. That was all that was amazing as well. Ten out of ten. Uh, well, I'll, I'll say nine out of ten for prehistoric cow price because uh, the the boss fight in that. Was a bit too easy in the the, the volcano one. Uh, ten out of ten for the medieval one. That was that was quite a good level as well. And glove world again. That was ten out of ten. That last level was very very good. The thing that the thing that was the thing the bad news now the disappointing part with this game it was the final boss. The final boss being Jelly Squidward was as I, as I said earlier in the video it was. You wouldn't have known. You wouldn't have known that was going to happen. That happened out of nowhere. But even so, I expected it to be a bit more difficult than it was. It was just. It just felt like a repeat of the the glove boss, but less difficult. I was hoping Cassandra would be more of a challenge, being the final boss. Then I don't know. It just felt. It just felt very. It felt a very easy final boss. The ending was funny. I don't. Uh, the ending was quite quite good. Enjoyed the ending, but just. It could have it could have had a better final boss, more a more challenging one. Jelly Squidward just I don't know, just didn't seem really challenging. I didn't even take a hit from it uh, during the tentacle for the achievement. That's how, that's how easy it was. I got the achievement through uh, through just beating it. Don't get hit by even though I was trying to get the hundred for the reef flower at the time. Still didn't get hit by the tentacle. Anyway. Uh, overall, this game was a great follow-up to Battle for Bikini Bottom. Really, 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 I've had a lot of fun with this playing through this. Uh, there's been a few aggravating times in some parts, like I don't know, just the frame the frame rate could be a little bit better in some parts. Felt a bit sluggish in some parts, like it was stuttering. But apart from that, the overall game itself has been very good. And I've really enjoyed each of the levels have been, as, I, as I've just said, they've all been good and uh, all different. It's just the final boss that lets it down. And a final thing to say as well, the music, the music for all the levels was amazing as well. It wasn't a single song that got a bit boring. Probably the, probably the medieval song was a bit loud. That's my only complaint, but was, the music has been very good for all the games. For, sorry, for all the levels. And my final note, I just want to say this, uh, I had more fun with this game, I will say, than Crash Bandicoot It's About Time or Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. For, 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 like, the, for like games on like the multiverse or different, different universes, this game got right what those games didn't. Like the music was good, the, the music was amazing, the levels were fun to play. The, the bosses were challenging, minus the final boss. The only the only letdown was Cassandra a bit, but overall this game I will say is about a ten out of ten. Very, very good. And it's a very good follow-up to uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm feeling better already. True there was no there was no playable Patrick or Sandy, that was a bit of a critique as well, but it's it's been a, it's been an enjoyable ride, and I've really enjoyed playing through this. As I said, I had more fun with this game than Crash or R Ratchet and Clank. Those games, not to not to critique those games. Those games are fun, but just this one was better than those. With with like a involving the multiversal plot anyway, the story. But anyway, thanks for watching, and the next the next uh, video I'll be doing is going back to Cuphead now and finishing finishing that game off. I uh, don't know what game I'm going to play after that though, I'll, I'll have to think about what, what game I'll play next. But anyway, until my next, uh, till, till, I get, till I get back to play through, sorry, till I get back to Cuphead or start next playthrough. Thanks for watching and that's it. I will, I will get Platinum off screen though, uh, do the fetch quest, but I'm, 
just uh, I just feel like uh, this is the final video to end it off on, being having the final boss in this video and just finishing off, finishing off all the loose ends for the achievements and that. Well, uh, most of them anyway. So anyway, until the next playthrough or next uh, video I do on Cuphead. Thanks for watching. Bye.